guys, welcome to the vlog. We are headed to an autism event. We're going to dinner. This is an autism friendly dinner. It's put on by Making Strides for Autism, which is a local group. And uh, it's a fundraiser as well. Did I already say that? I didn't already say that. Okay, it's a fundraiser as well. Uh, but the staff at this restaurant have, have received training in autism. And, you know, just the whole environment is going to be set up to be autism and sensory friendly. So this ought to be pretty cool. You were also able to call ahead. I didn't do that, though. Oh, and you could call ahead, you know, in case your kiddo can't wait. So, um, the, you know, everything about it seems like every aspect of it. That's where it's at, right there. So that's where we're going. We're going to check this out. Our friends over at Making Strides uh, put this on. We're really excited for them and in this event. They're doing big things in this community. Mm -hmm. They've just, just recently like taken off, right? Like, they're just they're blowing up. Yep. They got all kinds of events. So we're, you guys are going to see us at a lot of those. I know there's another one like August 5th, so not far away. Um, but this ought to be fun. I'm still in work clothes. Oh, gosh. I need to change. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Let's go. You guys look nice too. Oh, thanks. I, I mean, you look nice as well. I'm, going back I'm not the only one that today. looks nice. You guys look nice too. Thanks. Oh, I hit my, my zoom. We ended up not um, pulling out the doing the sensory tank because at first it was like pouring down and it was supposed to rain all um, evening. So we were like, okay, all right. We were so ready and excited to like oh, like like blow that out and show that. And then of course it was raining. But then yeah, we were talking about it. it's gonna be it's gonna be great. We were talking about all the events coming up. I was looking at the calendar and stuff. So yeah, so like really I mean, cool. we have everything. We have concerts here. You have down at the amphitheater. Yep. You have. Um, all kind of like you have the jazz festival, you have, you know, every concert, every world of nations, right? Everything that there's any type of festival event, uh -huh. we will have our pop up sensory tent. Oh, good. And it's like, um, have you like the Coleman, um, you know, the Coleman tents? Yeah. Um, it's the blackout tent, so it has the blackout, uh -huh. and it has like four good. rooms, individual rooms. That's so we have idea, the Yoga yeah. Bee furniture in it, cool. it will have the other little sensory, good. um, little items, lighting, and then the middle, we will also have we partner with different ABA, um, uh -huh. companies that will actually be there with watching the kids. That's so, cool. I, sensory um, bags, I, everything. So you come out, get a break, uh -huh. instead of having to go home. Uh -huh. Come in and enjoy everything and then come back. Well, I might feel like I want to go back inside. Okay. Well, you're going to have to have a seat for one moment, okay? Well, wait for that guy with Captain America shirt. You got some surprise. Look at his hair. Oh, I hope that's okay because it's not dinner yet. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> fine. You How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good? You want the game? <laughs> of course. Yeah, it's messed up. Same, same. <laughs> Look at, I know. Hey, can you give her a hug? Give her a hug say thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> That's so cool. She's been dying. It's been dying to see. It's I only been a couple years. Yeah. It's only been a couple of like, oh, How long do you want to do it? I know you're here. Like, you look so different, not in camp. I know. Like, I'm gonna like, I look okay. She's like, I'm gonna wear my makeup and not be all scuffy. You look gorgeous. <laughs> Welcome Dude, home from the PTA. Thank you, I'm exhausted. <laughs> oh, it's such the a amount of work you put into it, that's amazing. Yeah, it's a long weekend. Have you guys been here before? Like, we have never been here. Oh, really? It's our first time. Oh, awesome. Welcome. Yep. What, was your, what was your name? Alyssa. Alyssa. Yes. Alyssa, so 
what did, what you guys received uh, basically like a, a pamphlet you know you know what to expect when families coming in that kind of thing yeah um, well I actually have a brother with autism so my partner and I we kind of made a list kind of selfishly of what was close to our heart and so we reached out to making strides and um, got them involved and yeah they gave us a pamphlet they trained us um, and then we trained our staff on you know how to deal with families with children with autism and yeah so to make it to where when they come in next time we know how to what to do and how to handle and just make it more uh, comfortable for the family. Now, did you guys do anything with as far as the restaurant itself, like music and stuff like that? Yeah, we did the lights and usually our music, like we wouldn't even be able to talk right now because with the amount of noise and music, it just gets so loud in here. Awesome. So. Very cool. We, we appreciate you guys doing it. Yeah, no, we love it. We're hoping to be, make a Texas Red House an autism friendly restaurant. So. That would be awesome. Yeah, to where we're going to have um, some sensory boxes. So like when, you know, you get the um, coloring book and crayons, we'll have like the sensory boxes with like fidget spinners and that kind of thing. So when you guys come, you'll know we have one. We'll make it more fun for her. So yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, we appreciate it. Oh, we're it was blessed, good. Guys, had the time. Good. Are you stuffed full? So full. Belly's good. I'm so full, yep. yep. Oh gosh. So Can I'm gonna get it. She's like, these Did people got me a good? kid's steak. Good? Yeah, she sucked it down. Oh, you wanted the adult oh, steak. No, I got her an adult steak. Oh, did you? Okay. Yes. Well, it was oh, a little gosh. adult steak, Mom. <laughs> Look, a little petite adult steak. Yeah. She's like, um, what is this? I know. Like, I shared mine with her though. Look, is it an appetizer? Yeah. Look, It was awesome though. She originally reached out and they were like, Hey, we heard about you guys. We want to start an autism friendly night. Can you help us? Cool. And so that's how everything um, got to rolling with them, and we partnered. So now going forward, um, every third Monday of every month um, from four to eight, there will be autism. So we we do have some tweaks that'll be made. They have our um, they will have receive our bags that will have the noise canceling headphones. That'll have the community picks. I mean, it seemed like it I had seen, no, it I mean, did. I saw a lot of no, kids no. I'm gonna tell you, or whatever. Far as they were coming in, yeah, they so had, my the server start. was putting every single one of her receipts. So that's good. Yeah. That's good. What I, I'm gonna say, far as even from the start, like they were coming in left and right, yeah. or whatever. Um, fa new families that were saying, "Hey, I just got a diagnosis. Hey, right. we don't know where to turn. We don't know what to do. Or better yet, hey, we've been on this for a while. We love this. Right. You know, are you gonna do more in the community? So yeah. cool. Huh? Cool, so, good job. It was awesome. Yep. Yeah, awesome. It was awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. Okay, so how pretty short vlog today, guys, but I wanted to make sure that I, I took you guys along for that for that fundraiser and that autism friendly uh, dining experience. That's a great idea. And they're gonna improve on it as it goes. You know, they were asking for input from other parents and stuff. So um, t top notch, really well done. You know, it kind of brings up a point I've made in the past. Like, you know, we do see comments. Um, yeah, I wish they had this kind of thing in my area and something I want to remind you of is that uh, this was put on by another autism parent by a family um, another autism family like ours that created uh, uh, creating making strides for autism so um, keep that in mind a manager at the restaurant has a brother with autism and that's that's where this idea kind of kind of bloomed from so um, you know it's it's people like us it's people like you uh, that are going out and doing this. So if you're looking to make a difference, there's there's a good idea for you. If you look, work at a restaurant, if you manage one, own one, know somebody uh, that that does, you know, that's an opportunity, you know, to create that autism friendly um, night, you know, once every couple of weeks, so families can actually go out to dinner and and have a much better experience with a staff that that is educated on autism and uh, and they know better how to handle. Um, handle us as a family and handle Abigail. But short vlog gives me an opportunity to uh, show you guys a few things that we got in the mail, some kind of some pretty cool stuff. Um, and I, and I want to do some shout outs too. I want to um, I want to give props to some of you guys. But uh, first and foremost, we got this package from uh, Baron Ten Acre Farm. Big old big old. And I already opened it because I had to see what was inside. I'm I'm impatient like that. First thing. All natural candy got some molasses and honey vitamin c lollipops and i, I already opened these as well uh the honey is my favorite it's so so good ginger hard candy that was good too i love i'm a fan of ginger anything but baron 10 acre farm um i'm gonna leave a link for them down below the for their etsy page uh but they do all natural stuff um they gave me i mean just tons i'm pretty sure this is soap um, it's called boogers and bubblegum it should, I hope it's not food. 
bath bombs. We got an autism action bomb. We got a detox bomb. Uh, all kinds of cool stuff in here. Tons and tons of like roll-ons and oils and eardrops and there's I'm still digging. So there's some uh, there's some uh, hemp oil products in here. Um, so thank you. That's really cool because you guys know that you know we were looking at looking at some of that stuff so, at, as a possibility for Abigail. Oh, this is an all natural honey lip balm. Good stuff. My mom used to be a beekeeper, so I love me some honey. Huge thank you to Barrington Acre Farm for sending this stuff out. Um, we're gonna throw some bath bombs in and do some roll-ons and that lip balm is fantastic. But if you like the idea, the all natural route for a lot of these things, uh, definitely check these guys out. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There's their information and I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check them out and show them some love. And I appreciate, I pre especially appreciate the candy. Second item, this didn't come in the mail, gummy bears. This came from Micah's dad. Micah's dad, so Micah and his dad have a channel on YouTube. It's called uh, Drawing with Micah, the, Drawing with Micah, the Artistic Autistic. It's hard to say. They've got a really fun channel. Um, I watch all their videos, I love watching their stuff, but check those guys out. I'm gonna leave a link, well, I'll put a link up here for that, but um, check those guys out. Uh, show them some love on their YouTube channel. Um, if you guys saw in the live video, um, if you were live in the live video, you would have seen it, but uh, sometimes there, there's a dollar amount attached to a question. Um, and, and you don't have to ask a question, but, but people can donate, basically. What that does is it keeps their question at the forefront, because uh, we miss a lot of them, because they're rolling so fast with a bunch of questions, and it keeps it at the top for a longer period of time, depending on how much money you, you, uh, you donate. So uh, uh, Micah's dad, he donated a couple bucks and said to go buy Abby some gummy bears. So there you go, Micah's dad, we bought the gummy bears. Thank you, sir, that was very kind of you. Last thing uh, that we got in the mail, this is the Big Red Safety Box by the National Autism Association. And you guys might have seen this, you might not have, but this operates on a, on a grant. So you can do um, a grant application and get one of these uh, free of charge. They do ask if you're able to, to donate some money. Um, that helps them to, to fill these boxes and get them out to people who may not have the means uh, to purchase one or to purchase these items. So um, basically inside the box, they have a child ID kit. This is gonna be um, an instruction man manual for uh, first responders, for police, uh, things of that nature. But you put your child's most recent photo and all their information, you keep this in a safe place. And you know, if your child ever, you know, God forbid, goes missing, anything happens, you can hand this to to the officer, and uh, it has all their information right here, ready to go. You know, when you're flustered, when you're in a panic, you know, it's nice to have all this information, easy to go, you know, ready to go, and you can just hand it to them and and, and go after your kid, find your kid. Some stop signs. These these would be handy around the house. You know, uh, this is you know, stop. You have this on door. Have it on. Have it on the oven door. Um, anything that you don't want your child to be into. Um, this can kind of be a, a language. You know, if you say this is not an okay okay place to be. I know a lot of curriculums teach safety signs. They do at Abigail's school. They teach safety signs. So this would be uh, this would be very useful. This is for a medic alert uh, shoe tag. You know, it can be used as a bracelet or a shoe tag. Uh, but this is to enroll for a free shoe tag. You know, that that would tell. Uh, anybody that were to come in contact with your child, you know, in, in a medical situation, especially, or if they were lost, uh, that the child does have autism, and uh, you can do contact information, you know, whatever you need need on here. So um, that's that's really nice. This is a silicone band from Safety Alert. It says, "I have autism." Um, uh, Abigail won't wear bracelets. I wish she would, but uh, but this could come in handy. Then we've got these automotive stickers. Uh, it says safety alert, person with autism may not respond to verbal commands. Uh, this goes on the back window of your car or on the window on which the, the side of the car in which your child rides. Um, that way if you have, again, a first responder, you're in an accident, um, you're incapable of telling them, you know, I have a child with autism that's not gonna listen to you or may not, you know, understand, uh, you know, the difference between safe and unsafe, that, you know, this will tell them what to expect when they come up to the car. This is my favorite thing in the box. Uh, these are door chimes. You can set it to chime 
or alarm or to off, but uh, you know, you can put it at chime, put it on the front door, that way you know when that front door opens, even if you've got locks or anything else, it's nice to have that audible notification that the front door is opening. You could, if you have a pool, you could put one, set it to alarm uh, for the door, the gate going to the pool, uh, you know, bedroom window of your child, you could set it to alarm, so it's gonna wake you up, uh, you know, if, if that thing is opened. These are pretty inexpensive, and um, they're available on Amazon. I'll leave a link for, for just the door alarms alone down below, along with the link for uh, National Autism Association and the Big Red Box. Last thing in the box is kind of a guide. It, uh, it just walks you through everything in the box, and then it has uh, sample physician letters and steps for autism parents and caregivers. Um, an awareness letter, uh, swimming lessons, you know, it, it talks about all kinds of safety related uh, topics, um, you know, when it comes to autism. So this is a cool thing if you don't have one or if you don't have, you know, a few of these items, um, be sure to check it out. I, I think it, uh, I think it could help, help a lot of these, you know, these terrible situations uh, that we hear about on the news all too often about, you know, autistic children drowning and going missing. Um, I think this could help to stop a lot of that and and it's free it is it is free if you do have the means to to donate towards uh towards the the big red box program please do so because that's going to help uh families who just can't afford um you know all these all these safety items okay shout outs i wanted to give a few shout outs to you guys first of all all of you all of you all of my viewers everybody that jumps on here every time we upload a video and you guys comment and I read, like I said, I still read all the comments, and there's a ton of them. I, I think I've, I'm like 40 or 50 comments behind right now, but I read all of them, and I, I so appreciate it. We really do. Um, you guys keep us going with these comments. You know, we get stuff all the time. I'm a new subscriber, and, and uh, you know, I love your videos. We watch all of them, and you guys have helped us realize that we're not alone in this. And that is, man, that is just, that's why we're doing it right there. Um Another reason why we do it, we've had people comment on here. Someone recently said, I don't even know why I'm watching this. I'm not autistic. I have no one in my family with autism. But uh, but they found our channel intriguing, and that is autism awareness. It's that aspect of it, and that is why we're doing this. Um, you know, it, there's so many reasons. So many people have, have left such excellent comments for us, and thanks a lot, guys. We really appreciate it. The questions, the questions come all the time. We love those. Um, I answer as many as I can. Some of them, the answers are going to be so long-winded. Um, I do bookmark it and I save it for later, you know. Um, and and we're going to do more live Q and A videos. That was a lot of fun, and uh, you know, we can really get through a lot of those questions a lot easier in that format. I'm trying to keep up with Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. If you guys aren't already connected with us there, uh, definitely do so because we have a lot of fun on, on especially Snapchat and Instagram. I'm more active there. Priscilla gets on to me about Facebook, but um, <laughs> I'm, I need to delegate that. I think she should handle Facebook. G give the video a thumbs up if you think she should do Facebook. She's better at Facebook than I am anyway. Also, some of you have been asking about, about the Fathering Autism shades, the sunglasses. If you're new here, um, I, I haven't talked about them lately, but we still have the uh, the store where you can purchase the, the sunglasses. They are limited um, you know, on, on how many I can get. We have a certain amount available, but uh, if you go to that store, I'm going to leave a link down below here for the store. Uh, you can go there and pick up a pair of the sunglasses um, and rock those Fathering Autism shades. Um, they're, they're all unique. I, I do the wood burning on them for the puzzle pieces, um, so each pair is, is a little bit different. Lastly, I want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you uh, to my Patreon supporters you guys over on on our Patreon page. If you don't know, know what Patreon is, it's basically it's similar to YouTube. You know, there, we have videos up there. We ha but we also have I do uh, little mini blog posts, just things that are on my mind, things I'm thinking about. I'll post photos from time to time. Um, but there is exclusive content that only uh, patrons of Patreon have access to. But it's a little more personal of a, of a connection between myself and you guys. Uh, you know, you guys can message me directly on Patreon and I can message you. We can carry on a conversation, you know, down below below a video or a post or, or a blog post. Um, I, we do video requests on there. There's just, there's a lot of potential uh, for further growth in Patreon. And what that does is, is it fiscally allows us to, to grow this channel, to put more time into it, to treat it more like a job. It's just another way for me to connect with you guys and for you guys to say, hey, thank you for... 
uh, providing the content that you do. It's really that simple. But to my patrons, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You guys just, you, you just, you keep the world spinning. You really do. But that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for spending the day with us. Thank you. Just thank you. Thank you to all of you. We appreciate you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, oh, don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and stuff. Leave a comment. Say hello. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Uh, we got, we, what are we doing? The heck are we doing? I didn't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Yes, you do. Okay, I know what we're doing. We're going to dinner. What are we doing? Help me. It's an autism thing. Yeah, it's an autism thing. Oh, wait, our it's whole a fundraiser. Our it's whole a fundraiser. life is an autism thing. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the vlog. We are headed to an autism <laughs> thing. <laughs> Dad, you look really epic. That's pretty much me in real life, son. Pictures don't lie. Oh, Lord. Honey. <laughs>